Hello, my marvellous sausages. It's the 12th of July. It's reset again. We've got quite a bit to get through this week, what with a few things popping up like Iron Banner. But first of all, let's get stuck into the Eververse. And here's the silver stuff. First one we've got is T-Ball. Ooh, what's this one? Into the bleachers. Let's have a look. Ooh, that's quite good. Ooh, that's rather cool. I like that. Entertaining and fast. Wallop! I do like that. What's that? A thousand silver. Bloody hell. We've got Wings of the Firebird. This is a ship. And my god, that's attractive, isn't it? Yes, that's really nice indeed. Let's just have a quick look with a few changes. Oh my goodness me, look at that one. Oh my goodness me, that's great there. Bloody hell, Tide Smoke. Oh, it looks good on that, baby. 800 silver for that one. Corporate sponsorship. This is for your sweet business. My god, look at that. That's quite nice. Uh, that's 700, if you like that kind of thing. Convertible ghost shell, 600 silver for that one. There we go. The cue ball sitting in a hacked up convertible. We do loves it. Now, then what have I got here? Right, then we got the Opposmatism Shader. Uh, this is from Season of the Splicer. And that is very bloody nice. Really nice indeed. Seems to be some sort of green to it there, which I can't really see. But well worth picking up. There we go. That's 300 bright dust there. We've got the no entry projection, ghost projection. And I quite like that as well. Unfortunately, it's not my fedora. So I'm not going to get it. Ooh, what have we got here? Didn't we have this for silver last week, I believe? The no backup plans ornament, the piezoelectric stratagem. Now, it does look bloody great, doesn't it? But as one of uh, somebody commented last week, <laughs> no one's going to buy it because nobody uses no backup plans, no ornament plans either. And the warlock ornament is the replicate exploit for the necrotic grips. Looks quite seavery to me, doesn't it? Yes, that's very nice. Need buggered wires hanging off it. We like that. The Hunter Ornament is the Fortunate Beast, 1,500 Bright Dust. And uh, these are for the... What the bloody hell is it for? It's for the Lucky Pants, don't you know? So there we go. Uh, I've just figured out that's actually War Beast skin on them there. Which I do actually like that. That's quite good. Swift Persistence Ship. Ah, there we go. Yes, that's from... Uh, well, it's just totally buggered up. Really new this season. How much is that one? That's 2,000 Bright Dust. That's not too bad. Right then. Down we go to the other brightest offerings. Flaming Hula Hoop. Yes, this was for silver a little while back, wasn't it? That's pretty cool, actually. I do like that with a triple Hula Hoop-tastic and then it disappears and you do a hooray! Isn't that lovely? How much is that? 3,250 Bright Dust. That's a lot. Showstopper Dance. Let's have a look at this. Um, well, that's quite entertaining, I suppose. Ooh, ooh, bit of, ooh, bit of urgency there in the old dancing, which I do like it. Watch for the blade. It'll slice your testes off. Uh, long haul shell. Trucking shell. <laughs> trucking shell. That sounds like something else, doesn't it? But it is trucking shell. It's a trucking shell. That's pretty cool. I quite like that one. Ooh, people have been lusting after this one. I've already got it, I think. If I know the guns in my inventory. Bloody hell. Look at that. That's very nice. Electromagnetic execution ornament. I'm going to acquire that baby. It means I've got the gun. I'm having that. Thanks very much indeed. I've got to have a gun ornament. It's bloody lovely. Ooh, we got right. This is a Titan Universal ornament. The Radiant Breaker Helm. Oh my god, that's so excellent. <laughs> Look at that. That's great. You've even got a little chimney in the top of your head. Look, if you're having a cigar under your mask. And the Hunter's Solar-themed ornament is the Sun's Apex Mask. This is lucky. These are great-looking sets. That's well worth picking up if you've been picking up the entire set, of course. There we go. That's for the Hunters. And the Warlock Dawn Singer Hood is the legendary universal ornament. Oh, look at that. Another absolute corker. And your head's on fire as well, which is always a plus. Oh, my God. I'm going to be skint this week because I just noticed. It's a callous mini tool. Oh my god, that is lovely. I'm, can I buy that? I'm bloody buying it. Yes, thanks very much. We shall have that. I have got it in my inventory, you stupid game. Uh, Eremus projection. Good old Eremus. All frozen to buggery on top of that uh, mission. Where was it? On Europa. There we are. They're coming back, I'll wager. Status entrance, if you like a bit of a crystalline entryway. There we go. We've got it there. Bloody hell, that's some good stuff this week. V Sorry, I'm getting excited. Um, sterile neutrino effects. Yes, uh, be careful. There we go. Yes, you might do things to your uh, region. Cabal arrival for a change. Oh, I always like that. It's amazing how many of those bloody drop pods have landed on my head. It's marvellous. Right, here we go for shaders. 300 bright dust each. Bioloom. Hmm, quite nice. 
quite nice, yes. That's the worst I get. It's not shite, is it? It's quite nice. Quite like that. It goes well goes well on the gun, actually. Look at the gun. That is nice. Nice matte black there. Golden Age wine. Mm, purple and uh, purple and uh, what's that, like a goldy colour? Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, I've already got that one. Chrome stock. Let's have a look at this. Ooh. That's got a nice dulled shine to it, hasn't it? It's not as shiny as some of the Gambit Chrome. Bloody hell, that's a good one. And then finally, we've got a deep sea jaunt. Let's all go for a jaunt to the deep sea. Not too keen on the texture on that one. But still, not bad there. And here we are with Banshee. Let's have a look and see what he's got. Let's bring up Light GG to see how popular some of these roles are. Refresh the page. And we're straight in here with the spoiler alert sidearm. Now then, uh, let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't look too bad to me, actually, this. This is a nice role. It's been given a B for popularity. But I think it's a very popular role beyond that. Because I bet you the popularity of this will go up. However, be warned, these will change tomorrow. So these particular roles reset rolls only last about a day. I'm not entirely sure exactly when it resets. It's before reset tomorrow, but anyway, we got Swashbuckler, Killing Wind, High Caliber Rounds, Fled Magwell, Target Sass, Short Spec Sass, Pain in the Sass, and a Reload Speed Masterwork. And like I said, that's been given a B. Pretty popular, that one. This is a great scout. The Percy's D. They've given this an A. Very popular role, and I can see why this is worth picking up too. Explosive Payload, Stats for All, Tactical Mag, Fled Magwell, Full Bore, and Chambered Compound Potato, and it's a Range Masterwork as well. Lovely indeed, Jubbly. Then we've got the uh, Cantata 57. A lot better than the 56, but not as good as the 58. Now, this one has been given a D. Not popular at all. Let's have a look why. Opening shot is okay. Hip Fire Round, Steady Rounds, Alloy Magazine, Fluted Barrel, Arrowhead Break, and a Range Masterwork. Nice Masterwork on it. But there we go. Not that popular for the uh, cantata there and then we've got the fugue 55 what's this been given now ah, that's been given a d as well bad news for the red and whites this week but it's got box breathing and no distractions as well those are actually nice combos to be perfectly honest accurized rounds steady rounds small bar <laughs> and hammer forged rifling <laughs> And a range masterwork. That's not bad either. Strange that's only had a D. Okay, let's move along down the line to the Typhon GL5. This has been given an A, which ain't bad. Adrenaline Junkie, Demolitionist, Proximity Grenades, High Velocity Rounds, Quater Mass in the Pit, Volatile Lunch, bleh, and it's also got a Velocity Masterwork. And then we do have the Three Swords again at the end. Here we've got the Crown Splitter because we're on my Titan. Uh, what's this role being given? It's been given a C as well, much the same as last week. Whirlwind Blade, Flash Counter, Heavy Guard, Hungry Edge, Glen Close and Tempered Edge as well and an Impact Masterwork on that sword. The Quick Fang is for the Hunters. This has been given a B uh, so pretty good again. Flash Counter, Tireless Blade, Swordmaster's Guard, Hungry Edge, Enduring Blade and Tempered Edge as well and of course an Impact Masterwork. And of course the Eternity's Edge for the Warlocks. This has only been given a C in the popularity stakes but let's have a look. Counter Attack, Thresh, Infinite Guard, Hungry Edge, Glen Close and Tempered edge as well and of course the obligatory impact masterwork the armor situation is pretty dire this is the one with the highest stat this week it's for the hunters it's a pair of trousers and it's got recovery of plus 30 but everything else as you can see is complete rubbish now of course it's iron bananas back for the last time this season with all old lords all old lord saladin uh, we've got a few weapons the wizard rebuke and the hero's burden which are reprised for this iron banana so you want to make sure you at least pick them up and of course you've got the iron banana seed as well, Iron Lord, which is worth doing. Reset your rank. I've got, a, I've got a few things to do here yet. Bloody hell. We've got a new batch of seasonal challenges, week eight, and uh, we don't need any more figments of darkness. Look, we've got a, uh, what's it called? Umbral Opulent Umbral Energy to get. And you've got to do the server forgiveness using an Arc subclass. So that's interesting. Don't forget, don't use the scythe that spawns because that counts as a solo weapon and will bugger it all up. The Nightfall is the Insight Terminus. That means that the DFA hand cannon is the reward and if you're hankering after an adept of course the Grand Master is there for you to get your bum kicked in as well. Let's have a quick look at the throne world and we've got uh, Altars of Reflection Catalyst and we've also got Insight as well. Those are the two altars this week.
week. And then we've got the weekly mission, which is called the Communion on the European Pyramid. There's lovely. And of course, if you're after one of the new helmets, it's uh, Metamorphosis is the Legend Lost Sector today. That's only today, the 12th, if you're after your Laurely Splendor helm. And sure I am in the helm. All me ghosts have gone because we've done the last mission. But don't forget, you've got the Callous Bobbleheads. If you haven't picked them up yet, I've got a playlist where to find every single nine of them. Yes. So if you want to have a little look at that, follow the link at the end. And of course, we've got Solstice of Heroes starting up next week. So there we go. Things are going to get racy again. Anyway, if you enjoyed the vid, give me a like and subscribe. That would be utterly fantastic. And like I said, if you want to get those Callous Automatons and Bobbleheads, here's the link here. Look, thank you so much for watching. And I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage. Ute.